Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Cherry or Cherry Chaco Plays. So today we are starting episode two of my Growing Together series with the Huntington family. So it is still their first day in Sulani. It's about to be like nighttime, dinner time-ish. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the two of them ready so they can go out for dinner. It is eight o'clock. Knowing how the dine out pack goes, they probably won't be able to eat until midnight. So I'm just gonna get them to use the bathroom and brush their teeth because I don't, I can't remember if they brushed their teeth today. Okay, you know, I will send you home, Sumi. So I forgot to get them to put the fruit bowls out when they got here, but we're gonna go ahead and do that now before they leave. And I'm gonna get them to go out for dinner. I want them to go to the restaurant that I have here in Sulani, but we know how dine out is it could take four or five hours for them to get their food this is the restaurant where they're gonna have dinner at this is the sulani restaurant romance i can't remember the creator that it's by but i will put it on the screen okay so they just got their seat let's take a bet on how long it's gonna take for them to get their food i feel like it's gonna take forever nyla looks amazing she really does i can't say the same about those two sims back there but i'm just gonna buy my business okay it is 8 19 let's place our bets to see how long it'll take their food to get there i'm thinking midnight but i don't know i could i could just have zero faith i'm gonna get them to be really cutesy and romantic with each other recite a love poetry for her appreciate all the little things about her blow a kiss too that's cute <laughs> riley did reach level seven in the romance skill at level seven riley can impress with high romance skill create a love advice blog okay and subsequently write love blog article what are they doing are they gonna slow dance oh they're gonna slow dance with each other guys oh my god the food's here it's 10 o'clock and their food is here and he didn't drop it okay oh my god they're so cute they're so cute and in love with each other oh my god i can't i actually cannot take how cute they are i say it every single time i play them every single time they are the cutest sims i think i have ever seen in my life Honestly, the food looks really good. I mean, that lobster roll shape is a little bit questionable. And they finish that wine so quick. Okay. Well, guys, you also need to eat your food. You can't just drink the wine. Okay, I put the light back and moved it a little bit because I want them to be able to order like a... Oh. <laughs> I want them to be able to order like a bottle of alcohol or something or dessert and for it to be able to go into the middle of the table. So let's see. We got a lot of options here. I might keep it romantic and get them a bottle of champagne. I'll get the golden edition. Okay, perfect. All right. I'm gonna get them to grab a drink. They're hopefully gonna clear the table and actually take the dishes, and then I will get them to bring out a cake. Ah, uh, perfect, okay. I'll get him to take a piece. I don't know if she, I'll give her a little bit of some hunger just so she'll eat a piece of this. And like I said, I want them to get just a little drunk. So I'm just going to get them to just have as many glasses of the champagne that they want, honestly. I'm not quite sure why he keeps standing up to drink his wine, but like, that's okay. And then I'll put the cake in somebody's inventory. They can put that in the refrigerator. I think I'll have them sit here for a little bit longer. Maybe get like one more drink before they end their meal. Oh, oh. okay. <laughs> okay there we go they're both drunk love that for them <laughs> love that for them oh and they're dancing again and riley's still holding the glass i don't know why he can't put his glass down but um i'm not gonna question it i love that that doesn't expire because she had that when she was pregnant with um the twins um excuse me you better be glad you're slaying yeah we're gonna head we're gonna put that up we're putting that up that is so rude to just come over and take somebody else's champagne just because you're in the vicinity. I forgot that they did that. That's actually so stupid. <laughs> I'll go ahead and get them to end their meal. Ooh, yeah. Riley's. 
he's feeling it and then i'll get them to go on ahead home they are back home they are drunk and they are tired so i'm just gonna get them to just go straight to sleep and i will put everything in the refrigerator so it doesn't go bad and then i will see you when they wake up so we can start the actual first day of them being at sulani oh my god the cats okay seriously this is the second time they fought and i think it's sumi that's starting the fights i think it's sumi that's starting the fights it could have very well have been socks this time though oh my god okay looks sure about attacking they just don't get along. Okay, so it was Socks that did it. They don't get along, but they used to, which is what confuses me. They used to get along like pretty well when they were kittens, but now they just fight all the time. So maybe they should go and get Nick like, Spader neutered, maybe? I don't know. So Riley's still dealing with the cold, and obviously they're hungover. I mean, I knew that was going to happen. I'll get him to take this medicine, and then it is 740. I'll get them to go ahead. Oh, no, 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 no. Nai, where are you? I'm a little stressed. So Nyla doesn't feel well. It says she could have a disease, and this is from the Life Tragedies mod, and... I am hoping that she's okay. If something were to happen, I'm not gonna hold y'all. I am going to cheat it away. Let me save my game really quick. What's wrong with her? Not on my watch. Where is, we're not, you can turn. You can turn the sad music off. Nyla's not dying, guys. Don't worry. Remove fatal illness. She's fine. Oh, you're not dying. Oh, you guys are fine. Nobody's dying or anything. You're fine. Okay, so let's just go like nothing happened. Because nothing happened. I you know absolutely nothing happened nobody's dying I'm contemplating if i want them to have their kids with them on this trip or not like this is just a trip for them it was an unplanned trip obviously they're gonna bring their kids back home with them when they leave but i feel like i might want it to just be the two of them and then maybe during the summer they will bring the kids back to sulani for a family trip is what i think they'll do or in the spring but probably the summertime so this is the huntington household i love this house so much it is the perfect beach house it is so cute i love it i love it i honestly miss playing in it but i'm trying to move on from it so outside we already see riley's youngest sister i believe this is lauren or laura who is this lauren she's a teenager obviously their son is here because they're spending the weekend with them i'm gonna get them to come on over and say hi and obviously this is pace riley's dad and then i'll get the two of them to head inside they're still a little hungover and by a little i mean a lot hungover so he has just a regular hangover she has a massive hangover but i think she did have one more drink than riley did so i get it oh, say i love you wait i've never seen that before can i actually do it okay and then this is riley's brother his only brother that he has and his name is brandon here's just a little overview of their house and then we also have their twins and then this is riley's mom of course leah i love 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 their house so much i think it's very bright and very open in here especially on this bottom floor they have the living room kitchen super open this little area where guests could sleep if they wanted to a downstairs bathroom is this broken okay i thought it was broken they have a dog I didn't authorize them to get a dog, but they wanted a dog, so they got one. Um, and then this is upstairs where everyone sleeps, obviously, the upstairs bathroom. But this is Riley's old bed, and this is Brandon's bed. And then this is Leah and Pace's bedroom. 
And then we have the bedroom that was for his little sister. Go up the ladder. Oh, I forgot. Hmm. Okay, I will say I forgot about her because I didn't authorize them to do this as well. I think Nyla had a conversation with Isabel about extending the family. And I assume that it would be her and her boyfriend getting together and having a baby. But they adopted a child, this random little girl. Her name is Chandler Honeycutt. That's cute. Um, but this is upstairs where Leah likes to come and play the piano and it's kind of secluded Has a beautiful view of all of Sulani surrounding their house far and wide And then oh, yeah, and then down here. They have just a cute little outdoor area a little kiddie pool Outdoor seating for when they host parties and things and they hosted a lot of parties when I played them card area um, Isabel used to paint when she was living here, but obviously she doesn't anymore So yeah that's everything so i'm just gonna let them hang out and see their family because they haven't come to sulani in a very long time actually now that i think about it oh no and she's sick and they've been here for a little bit. Oh no, their food isn't spoiled yet. Okay, I'm gonna get them to eat their acai bowls really quick. Or the rest of their acai bowls. Because they're getting a little hungry. Or at least she's getting a little hungry. And I guess I'll get her to raid their kitchen as well. Oh, well she can't have that. I'll get her to have a piece of... Okay. Oh, pace. Okay, well. I thought it said that that was spoiled. And he's going to eat the spoiled food. Or is it not actually spoiled? <gasps> oh my. No way. It is a, oh my god. No. Freak out of here. You leave her alone. Guys, I've tried. I've tried. And. I've tried, I have tried with life tragedies and I can't take it anymore. And honestly, I thought I had, I thought I had, oh my God, where is it? I thought I had kidnapping disabled. So the only thing they could have is, is fatal illnesses. Okay. Oh my God, that was too much. Okay, let's act like that didn't happen because it technically didn't. I'm gonna get them to go ahead and head on over to nyla's family's house now because they've been over here for a few hours and they want to go and see everyone and they still want to have some time for themselves later afterwards and now we are outside of the house that nyla grew up in i keep saying grew up in as if i didn't make her as a teenager but we're gonna say that she grew up here from childhood all the way up to young adulthood before she moved out but I love this house so much. The pool is amazing. It's so much space in this house. And as you can see, one of the people that she grew up with is Sean. Oh, well, he just went in the pool, but I'm going to get them to both come over here and say hi. So like I said, this is Sean. This is one of her brothers. This is Yasmin. I'm not quite sure why she's so sad, but she's a very cute sim. And then we have Madeline. They were in the wedding party, all three of them. There is someone else that lives here but i don't know where they oh i think it's marcus it might be marcus let's see i want her to just come and talk to them all for a little bit riley and sean are having a great conversation so that's cute is there anybody else here oh yes okay and then we have zachary and then marcus lives here you met him in the first episode but he's not here I'm gonna let them all catch up and talk even though Riley and Nyla are really only talking to each other but let's just pretend that they're all engaging in a very wonderful conversation catching up you know all that good stuff that family members do with each other oh cute I wonder where Nyla's going oh she's going to bed okay well since she's going to bed I'm gonna get them to just go ahead and travel And look who's following her up here. 
like a creepy old man. It's Marcus. That is so interesting that he showed up right when I was about to get them to go. Interesting. Interesting how that works. I'm gonna get Nyla to try and get them to patch things up. He is such a moody man. Okay. Riley, forgive him. Okay. Now, can y'all have a civilized, normal conversation with each other without beef? Let's do some manly man talk. Talk about what you need. Give him a pep talk. Like, I want them to be friends. I really do. I don't, I genuinely don't know. Like, why him and Marcus don't like each other? It's just me saying that they don't like each other because he wanted Nyla, but I don't know that. And Nyla wants to go to bed. Their friendship level is still pretty bad. Okay, but I like to think that they try their best. And Nyla's tired, so I'm gonna get them to go home. All right, now they are back home. I actually want them to have a cute little romantic dinner that Riley is gonna cook. But first, I need him to come and take a shower. He could take a steamy shower. He could take a steamy shower. That's fine. And I'll get Nye to come in and take a rose petal bath. She doesn't really need a bath, but I'll get her to do that. And then I'll get her to come over and greet the cats. Oh! Aww, he pulled this one tooth out. Is he okay? I get her to take a pregnancy test too while we're here before, because I want them to all leave around seven-ish to go get their family pictures taken. Okay, <gasps> she's not pregnant, y'all. We're good all right we are here bright and early at the photography studio in newcrest and this is where they are going to take their family photos for winterfest which is actually tomorrow they look so cute in their outfits what the heck i think it's cute i think it's really cute i like the black and red theme for christmas versus the like red and green which i mean sage does have green in his but i think it looks really cute i think it brings like a little extra something um i will show you the shoes because you can't really see the shoes but oh my god they look so cute they look so cute i want to take some pictures of them posing like this with the content creator made poses and then i will get them to do the ea poses that came in game as well Can he, yeah, I was about to say, can you go back to that pose? His arms are, he said arms are huge. Damn, nice. You won. Ooh, you won. Oh my. Guys, this is so cute. Oh, they look so cute. Look at her. hands i think so oh, wait let's grab this picture really quick just of the two of them i'm not even paying attention to riley anymore oh <laughs> michaela you have been well appreciated we are just going to transfer these photos over to the actual family's inventory and then I'm going to remove her from the family and then everyone's going to head back home. Right guys? And then after careful deliberation of every single picture I had, I decided to go with this one. No shocker. It's actually no surprise. This is the only family and group photo that I could get done I believe but I still like it all the same I think it's very cute and then let's see what it looks like just with all the decor in here hello like come on that is so 
Look at that. That's so cute. Oh, look at that. Okay, it fits perfectly. Now I don't want to get rid of this Christmas tree because it just ties in so well together. I do, however, I do, however, want to get rid of these. I know she did her best. Okay, there we go. We got the family photo done, finally. I feel like it's taken forever to get this family photo done, but we did it. And now I'm going to end off the episode because tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow is Winterfest and their first family gathering in this home which is so crazy look at my little happy family and then leah <laughs> all right let's end the episode on riley today let's shake it up let's make it a little bit different i hope you guys enjoyed this video i had a lot of fun technical issues aside i think i got a lot done today surprisingly but i really 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 enjoyed doing this i thought it was very cute i haven't done like a family photo in actually a very long time and you would be surprised how much time it takes for you to get a family photo done in the sims that's with me i think i've been recording for an hour or over an hour actually an hour and like 30 minutes i hope you guys enjoyed this video i cannot wait for winterfest we can see everything all the family together everything is just gonna be so freaking cute if you like this video make sure you like comment and subscribe i'm on the road to 100 subscribers i'm very excited to hit that milestone thank you guys so much for watching this video and i will see you in the next one have a great day Mwah.